Now, because I've been stung by these so many times before, I know that if I get stung again, it's gonna hurt a lot, but it's not actually gonna be dangerous to me. I'm not gonna have an allergic reaction to them. If I didn't know that, I wouldn't do what I'm about to try now. And I suggest that if you ever go anywhere where there are bullet ants, please don't try this. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these little fellas. One of these little fellas, they're huge. What am I talking about? It's the biggest ant in the world. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these ants to walk over my hand without biting me. You nervous, Steve? I'm very nervous. Okay, so I've now got the world's most painful stinging insect on my hand. And I have to say, I am very nervous. Although I've been stung by this before, I can remember how badly it hurt. But if you look at it up close, it really is one of the most awesome creatures. I mean, the, an animal this size, look at it cleaning its antenna there, isn't that beautiful? Just running them through his mandibles, keeping them clean. Those are his primary sensory mechanisms as he's running along. It is just extraordinary that an animal of this size has a sting that's powerful enough to incapacitate an animal the size of me. I mean, think how many times bigger I am than this ant, but one little sting is gonna have me absolutely crying on the floor. I mean, that has to be one of the absolute miracles of mother nature. And <laughs> you can probably see I'm shaking a fair bit. <laughs> I reckon for that alone, the bullet ant has got to go on the Deadly 60. An animal this size that can make a huge animal like me cry. I didn't get stung.